Your money is to companies what honey is to Winnie the Pooh. So yeah, believe it or not, day after day they set traps for you to fall into like a helpless mouse. The traps are so subtle and beneficial that they seem like a gift from heaven. Almost as if the company really wants to help you save and they go out of their way for your well-being. But nah, they're really just competing with each other to get your attention so that you'll go like a meek kitten to purr at them while you go into debt with them. This is how the financial traps that you must avoid at all cost works. But do you know what they are? Would you know how to identify a trap even if it was right in front of you? Hello, how are you? Today, we'll share with you the 10 most common money traps, which you should avoid at all costs. Before we get started, give us a thumbs up and share this information with all your friends so they don't fall into these financial traps either. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and activate notifications. That way, you won't miss any of the tips we bring you. Now let's get started. Number 1. No down payment and no interest. We all want to acquire items for our home, whether it's a nice sofa or a super advanced 50-inch TV, especially when we're starting our independent life. We want to have a well-equipped house or apartment where we can feel comfortable and, why not, receive visitors from time to time. That's fine. That's perfect. The catch is, when you can't save and you access the no down payment, no interest plans, this seems to be an excellent tool to acquire your products with little capital and pay up to 36 installments. But then you realize that you end up paying more for something you could have bought in cash at a lower price. That's when companies start taking your money, when they sell you their products at up to 60% overpriced just because they gave you the benefit of the long term. You end up paying for a $1,000 TV at $1,600. So always keep in mind to compare prices and analyze well what benefits you the most. Number 2. Free Trials Free trials aren't new. In fact, companies have been offering them for a few years now so that you can try their premium services for free for up to 90 days in some cases. These companies want you to subscribe, to use their services, not because they necessarily know that you'll like them, but because they ask you for your payment information beforehand. So if you're not paying attention and the term expires, you'll end up having charges to your card that you don't want. And the worst part is that you won't even be able to get that money back. Stay away from free trials at all costs, unless you set an alarm on the deadline to cancel. Otherwise, it's better to avoid some headaches that we're sure you don't want to have. Number 3. Rent-A-Car Yes, you're probably thinking about having that fancy car to impress your girl or make your jealous neighbor jealous, because no one wants to be in a $2,500-year-old Honda. Everyone prefers to drive that fancy BMW sports car to get to the office and be the center of everyone's attention. But wake up. If you can't afford to buy the car, don't rent it. Not because we don't want you to have a supercar, but precisely because this video is to help you watch your pockets. If you rent a supercar that you can't afford, the only ones who will benefit are the owners of the company you rented it from, while you're still going to be broke. Number 4. Instant Loans This is a business model that's becoming more and more popular, but this is one of the biggest traps in the world that endangers your pocket. We've all had a financial emergency at some time. We need some amount of money to solve some situation and nobody can lend us. It's hell. That's where these companies come in and throw their bait for you to fall in like a fish in water. They offer you the money you need to solve your situation and you end up paying up to 50% of the money in a short period of time. Imagine you need $1,000 and after five days, you end up paying $1,500. It's a robbery. So if you need urgent money, better borrow from your best friend. It'll surely help you. Number 5. Student Loans If you want to go to college but you don't have enough money, what do you do? You turn to the government to lend you money so you can study, right? There's nothing repudiatory about that after all. You're doing it to better your future. But it turns out that student loans are the biggest trap in the history of traps and that you can end up in debt your whole life possibly more than 10 years to end up paying out of pocket for your education. The best option for you is to look for ways to access student scholarships or attend a college that is affordable for your pocket. After all, education is something that goes in you. Number 6. Gambling Betting on lotteries or games of chance and thinking that with some luck you'll be able to solve your financial problems is a big mistake. 
Gambling, far from generating wealth or income, will impoverish you and will kill your capital in an aggressive and fast way. Do not give your money to casinos, which are only made for you to lose. Remember the phrase, the house never loses. Number 7. Adjustable Rate Mortgages Mortgage rates usually come in two forms. A fixed rate, where the interest you must pay is fixed for several years, and a variable rate, also known as an adjustable rate, where the interest you must pay changes from time to time. We advise you to never agree to a variable rate, for your sake. Whether it's a 4-year or 6-year mortgage, once the interest rate adjusts, you won't know where your debt will go. Getting an adjustable rate mortgage is simply playing with fire. So, how can you avoid falling into the bank's trap? Always choose the best option, and the best option will always be a fixed rate. That way at least you'll be sure that you're paying a fixed maximum amount and won't have any unpleasant surprises in the future of rising mortgage rates. Another option to avoid getting into debt is to look for an option that you can pay cash while saving for a bigger house. Number 8. Investments with Astronomical Returns Have you ever heard of investments with returns of 20% or even 50% per month? This modality is typical of financial pyramids. This trap invites you to start by paying a base amount, let's say 100 US dollars, with the illusion of generating great returns. However, along the way, problems arise and your money disappears as if by magic. Avoid these practices that often seem reliable and beneficial but then turn into a real calamity. How can you do it? Seek help from a professional to guide you if you want to invest. Number 9. Winning a contest we never entered. You'd be surprised how many people have fallen into this trap again, and again, and again. They're usually scamming over the phone. They call apparently from a radio station saying you won a contest, or also by mail. Sometimes they'll tell you that you're live from X program that you've probably heard of. The prize is usually attractive, a car or similar. Then they tell you not to hang up, to give us directions to get the prize. All this is done to hook you, then they ask you, with the phone in hand, without hanging up, to go to a nearby convenience store to buy prepaid cell phone cards. We have to give them the codes that come on them to unlock the prize. There they hang up, making their profit. How can you avoid this trap? It's not very difficult, you just have to be aware of what contests you've entered and keep in mind that sometimes it is too good to be true. Number 10. Fishing Surely you've received an email where they pretend to be financial institutions to try to steal your information. One of the most frequent is the typical message saying that our account is blocked. They're usually easy to identify if you're careful, but unfortunately many people fall for them. The way to avoid this is simple. Never click on any link or give information to the caller. Instead, always go directly to the bank's website. Legitimate, because there's also some fraudulent ones that advertise themselves on internet search engines as if they were the real site. And always initiate the call yourself. It's as simple as that. The traps to make you poor will always exist, and they'll never disappear. The important thing is, is that you found this video to identify them and reduce the risk of falling into one of them. Share this video with all your friends so they'll also take care of their pockets, and if you haven't yet done so, I invite you to subscribe and leave us an ultra thumbs up. See you in an upcoming episode.